In my last video, we took a look at Horizon Zero Dawn on the Intel Arc B580 on Linux. The visuals were so bad, I was afraid of showing footage out of fear it could induce a seizure. So, of course, in this video, I'm going to test some more PlayStation to PC ports using the B580 on Linux. I'm going to be taking a look at God of War and Death Stranding. This is my first video where I'll be testing on Fedora Linux. Let's take a look at these games. Let's start off with God of War. Surprisingly, it uses the DirectX 11 graphics API and the DXVK translation layer. A bit of a shock, considering I expected all these PlayStation ports to rely on DX12. Anyway, the game performs adequately. Honestly, after all the issues I ran into in my first Linux gaming video with the B580, I was pleasantly surprised by how good things look here. Frame rates mostly hover between the 30s and 40s at 1440p, and while there's some occasional shader flickering, it's not as bad as Horizon Zero Dawn, and both games' performance will hopefully improve from here. Let's take a look at the numbers. Over a 3 minute capture, the game averaged 35.4 frames per second, with 1% lows at 17.4 frames per second, and a 97th percentile mean of 56.5 FPS. We're getting PlayStation 4-like frame rates on the B580 at the moment. But if you're a PC gamer, your hierarchy of needs includes high frame rates, buttery smooth visuals, and low input latency when you pay $250 or more for a discrete GPU in 2025. Oh, and turning FSR on yielded identical frame rates, so it seems upscalers available for God of War requires more work to get up and running. Now, on to Death Stranding. At first, in the prologue, Porter, Things seem okay. There are some shader lighting issues and some texture streaming issues. It's probably 80 to 90% there as far as playable is concerned. I tested the game with FSR, XCSS, and TAA enabled. XCSS performed similarly to TAA. Meanwhile, AMD's FSR took the lead with a 97.1 FPS average, 68.1 FPS 1% lows, and 135.6 FPS for the 97th percentile highs. Notice earlier how I said at first, performance issues become more apparent in the first chapter, Bridget. I played chapter 2 exclusively with TAA enabled, and while eyeballing the frame rate, I noticed maybe a consistent 10 FPS drop. And then the crashes. The first one happened while I was climbing a mountain to reach Capital Not City's incinerator. The second go, I got to the incinerator, but not only did the beach things get me, it seems they also got my system, and the game crashed again. So it seems like a tale of two games in one game. Maybe the driver dev assigned to Death Stranding just sort of made things look cohesive just in the prologue, just to make their manager happy, and called it a day. Whatever the case, the game seems to need further work as far as the Linux XE driver is concerned. So how do these PlayStation ports stack up on the Arc B580 and Fedora Linux? Well, God of War offers a playable experience with some flickering. It's playable, but leaves room for a lot of frame rate related improvement. Death Stranding, on the other hand, seems like a mixed bag. The prologue shows promise with decent visuals and impressive frame rates, especially with FSR. But as you move into the main chapters, shader issues, crashes, and inconsistencies start to creep in, making the experience far from polished than it initially seems. This is just a fun exercise in scratching the curiosity itch as we wait for Linux XE driver improvements. And I hope you're having fun, maybe watching me torture myself. There's potential, but we'll need more driver updates and optimizations to fully unlock the power of the B580 on Linux. If you're interested in gaming on Linux with Intel Arc, patience remains your best course of action. Thanks for watching, and as always, let me know what you think in the comments below.